Hello there and uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how we build a uh, Stratocaster single coil pickup. And I'm going to show you the different stages of the building process as I build a Strat uh, pickup from scratch. You'll see um, how the bobbin is put together, how the wire is put on and everything and how the how the uh, lead wires are soldered on and everything and the wax potting. I cannot show you everything because some things are trade secrets that I don't want to show you, but uh, you'll get the idea and you'll see the main parts and I think some of you might find this interesting. So thank you for watching and uh, yeah, let's start. So as you can see here, uh, we've got the different uh, things laid out. What we've got there, we've got, uh, and this is uh, the actual bobbin that we're going to make. And uh, in order to make that, and uh, we have to first fabricate a bobbin, which you can see here. And uh, we've got all the materials laid out there. Uh, we've got the flat work. We've got some magnets and the pickup cover of course and um, what we've also got there you can see uh, there is a little jig to uh, put the magnets in and um, yeah the next thing to do is um, put the magnets and um, make them put them into the flat work all right so now we've got our arbor press set up and it's a real simple thing you just turn it and uh, press in the things. So we now take the flat work and uh, therefore I use this uh, little jig that you're going to see now and I take the the magnets. Um, as you can see they have a, a slight, they have a bevel on one side and um, you know, straight on the other side and you want the, uh, the bevel side uh, to be up there so you have no sharp edges when you play and they stick out uh, above the cover. Uh, and so and magnet one is in so we've got five more to go and I'm uh, starting with the outer two putting the, the second one in so we have a guide for the other ones and uh, now I'm applying the uh, uh, the jig so I can easily put in the other four magnets and uh, the jig helps them to get uh, to go into the flat work at a 90 degree angle so the bobbin is not uh, the bobbin is straight and you can see there uh, also you've, we've got the stagger um, for this set we are going, uh, we are building a left hand uh, staggered uh, thing, a uh, pickup. So now I'm putting in the rest of the magnets, just apply a gentle pressure. Yeah, all the magnets are in. And the next thing is uh, to put uh, the top over. I'll just go and press on uh, the outer ones and the middle ones. And uh, yeah, so now the top is on there and you see it's every, everything is nice and straight. So uh, we can remove the jig. As you will see, we've made ourselves a, uh, a nice uh, bobbin. So now that we've made uh, all our three bobbins, the next uh, step to do is to dip them in nitrocellulose lacquer. And 
and um, this is um, done so that uh, we uh, fixate uh, the structure and so that the bobbins don't move when we wind them and uh, also to insulate the to insulate the magnets from the uh, copper wire so they uh, don't shorten out. This is uh, the classic way that Fender has done it. I'm also going to uh, wrap around, uh, wrap a little tape around as you will see uh, in the next step. But um, yeah, we also we do this to prevent them from moisture uh, and everything. So the next step is to dip them in nitrocellulose. Uh, this uh, is a thing I don't need to show you because I do this outside uh, because it really has a bad smell to it. All right, so now the uh, lacquer has set. And uh, the next uh, thing what I do when I build them, I'll uh, wrap a little bit of tape around the magnets uh, to insulate them from the wire and therefore I use uh, a Kapton tape which is used uh, in electronics um, because it has a very high melting point and it also non-conductive and so I uh, use this to put it uh, around the, uh, to, uh, the magnets. The thing why we insulate uh, the magnets from the wire is so that they don't shorten out when the corrosion sets in and the, um, the insulation of the pickup wire is fading away. Uh, this is a, a common thing with old fender pickups so that when they corrode uh, the uh, insulation of the, of the magnet wire dies and so you get a short and uh, your pickup is dead and uh, the only thing that helps is um, to rewind them. I'll do this and I know it's not vintage correct but um, I'll do it uh, to, to lengthen the, the lifespan of the pickup. So now that we've uh, insulated all three uh, bobbins with the tape, the next thing to do is uh, yeah, to wind the pickup. In this case, I'm winding a uh, Muschel Kalk set. That is my David Gilmore style uh, pickup set. And I'm using, for this pickup set, I'm using three different types of wire. For the uh, neck pickup, I'm using heavy foam var. This is the a thicker insulation wire and it is mostly used in um, the old uh, Stratocaster pickups uh, from the 50s and um, I'll use this for the neck pickup to get a nice uh, hollow the classic Strat tone. For the middle pickup I'm using uh, plain enamel wire like it was used uh, in the CBS uh, uh, period of Fender and for the bridge pickup, I am using uh, poly nylon wire. And in this case, I'm using a thinner gauge uh, wire uh, that is usually taken for uh, tele neck pickups. And the reason I do this is because uh, this bridge pickup is wound very hot with around 12K. And with the uh, normal wire that I use for the neck and middle pickup, you won't get uh, that much winds on uh, the bobbin and uh, yeah as you can see the wire is really really thin it's uh, thinner than uh, thinner than a hair all right so this is my um, self-built uh, pickup winder it's nothing fancy it's just a little motor I've got a counter I've got a little a dial to set the uh, winding speed I've got a a little button to set the direction clockwise counterclockwise the bobbin is attached on this uh, to the motor via double sided uh, sticky tape and uh, here I have a little uh, uh, guide where, where I hand guide the, uh, the wire that's about it so now 
uh, the first thing that we do is uh, we take a little a few turns by hand to uh, get the to get the wire uh, going on the bobbin uh, to get it secured. Um, yeah, just around ten turns. put a few hundred turns on uh, the bobbin and check if the guides uh, are set properly and uh, yeah as you can see I'm, I'm guiding the wire by hand and um, this is really the difference to uh, machine round pickup is the uh, is that when the, the wire is guided by the hand you get that sort of uh, a scatter wound sort of a chaotical pattern uh, in contrast to the machine wound, which uh, goes uh, from left to right in a strict pattern and um, with hand wound pickups, you don't have that. So now I have a couple of hundred turns and I check if, uh, if I have set the guides correctly. And now uh, we will wind the whole pickup. This is the thing I don't show you because it's uh, rather boring and of course I don't want to show you my winding patterns because they make up the sound of the pickup. All right, now we've got uh, all three pickups that are wound uh, to spec. And what you have to do when uh, you have finished uh, the winding of the pickups is to thread the wire to the eyelets. The next step is um, to magnetize the pickup because uh, the magnets that I use are non-magnetized. And I'll show you in a second how this works. All right, now we're going to magnetize the pickup for this I'm using a uh, really high-tech apparatus, as you can see. It's really just a vise with uh, two neodymium magnets, and uh, they are set up so that south direction or uh, north direction is in one or other uh, direction. And yeah, what we are going to do is we take the pickups and pass them through a couple of times through the magnets and the magnets are getting magnetized and this is a set that is uh, non-reverse so uh, all the pickups are say uh, are facing the same uh, facing the same magnet direction and have the same winding direction and so the top is uh, south up and I'm uh, take the magnet and uh, pass them a few times through uh, the magnet and so the pickup is uh, fully magnetized. And I'm going to do this with the other two and you uh, see I take them in the same direction. And now you can see they're all uh, magnetized. They are really now magnetized to the full strength of the magnets and uh, the, cl the clamp of the vise is set so uh, that is uh, the Gauss uh, strength is uh, to my specs. I have a Gauss meter to, to measure it and if I want to demagnetize it, I, you change the polarity. You just uh, put uh, the blocks of the vise a little bit uh, further away or you uh, then pass the pickup in the other direction. Uh, this is really a thing of trial and error and um, yeah you have to experiment with this and uh, now that we've magnetized the pickups the next thing is to solder on the lead wires all right so now we're going to uh, solder on the lead wires i'd like to start with uh, tinning the eyelets of the pickups so <laughs> set to 350 degrees Celsius and I'm, going, I'm just going there and it'll heat up the, the eyelet and then I'll feed a little bit of solder on there and uh, 
uh, the solder is melting the uh, insulation of the uh, pickup wire so that you've got a, a connection to the uh, to the actual copper wire so just a few secs and um, feed the wire and hold it and you're good to go All right, so the next uh, thing is to uh, solder on the lead wires and um, I've got here two pieces of uh, uh, pushback, vintage cloth pushback wire. As you can see, uh, you take the, uh, the outer cloth and you can just uh, push it a little back and then you have the, uh, the bare wire and this is really uh, easy to work with and um, yeah. And those are pre-tinned, but um, yeah, the white wire is going to the uh, to the end of the pickup. It's going. It, it's the hot output. So I'll just uh, reheat my solder uh, joint and. And then I'm going to feed the, uh, the wire through the eyelet and uh, take, the, take the ground wire, and the black wire is going to the ground and just re again reheat the solder joint. scissors and uh, just uh, cutting away the excess wire so now we're going to take uh, the multimeter and um, push back a little bit of the wire and we will see if um, the pickup is working actually if we uh, have not shortened out anything and I'm just I've got an LCR meter and I'm just going to test the inductance which was 2.07 and now I'm going to check the resistance which was 5.34 and uh, this is exactly what we wanted. I wanted a pickup that is uh, around 5.4k and uh, so I'm now feeding the lead wire through, through the hole there to secure it. and. Uh, Yeah, so now the pickup is almost finished. And this is uh, done really to, to secure the uh, lead wire from uh, ripping out of the eyelet. Getting a little bit out of the picture. So now uh, what I'd like to do is uh, give it a little, uh, uh, just a couple of turns of twist around uh, the base to fix it. And uh, yeah. So now we've got a nice Stratocaster pickup and uh, the last thing that we are going to do is uh, to wax pot these. And uh, to wax pot the pickup uh, I'm using a, uh, it's a really a, a ch a cheap slow cooker. Um, it's filled with a mixture of uh, paraffin and uh, beeswax. The beeswax I've added because it has a lower melting point and uh, what we are going to do is uh, just take the pickup and um, put it in and um, just leave it in there for a couple of minutes. As you can really see um, it's going in and uh, as 
as the uh, the wax uh, goes into the pickup you can see a couple of air bubbles coming out of the pickup and that is really the uh, wax going into the structure of the pickup and putting out uh, the air and what this is really uh, doing is um, uh, putting the air out of the pickup it is reducing the microphonic feedback that you sometimes get from unpotted pickups like uh, humbuckers or p90s they uh, tend to squeal if you uh, because the the moving the, the air that is moving is creating a uh, microphonic feedback and um, yeah we'll just leave the pickup in there until the bubbles stop emerging and um, then we put them out of the wax so now that the pickup has been in the wax for a couple of minutes um, we just put it out and uh, take a paper towel and wipe off the excess wax and let it dry and so we've made ourselves a really nice sounding Stratocaster single coil pickup thank you for watching this was a rather long video but I wanted to show you the whole process uh, how we make a pickup if you're interested uh, you can check out my website and check out my pickups and um, yeah thank you very much for watching and um, I'll see you in another video goodbye